Okay, well, this is the conclusion of my uh, toothpick motor project, which I woke up one morning and wanted to know if I could build a whole toothpick motor uh, using just toothpicks and these refrigerator magnets uh, in opposition uh, north to north, south to south, uh, to make a mo like a monopole. And this is the little driver unit that is that right there. And then this is how this is set up. And I had paper clips for the initial one. And then I finally came back to just using toothpicks as a cradle for the rotor. And let me show you how this works here. Get this going. There it goes. And that's a toothpick motor. Doesn't make a lot of noise. Uh, the, uh, the shaft is uh, crazy glue and graphite built up and then smoothed down with the action of the rotor spinning so it polishes itself and if it ever does wear down you just uh, put more crazy glue on it and uh, more graphite and build it up again but uh, that was the initial idea was to build up this um, motor using uh, toothpicks and it worked and then I went off into a completely different direction. I saved the toothpick shaft with the magnets, but then I ended up going this way. And this is two, uh, two electromagnetics in series with a reed switch, um, super capacitor to drive it with the power. And that's uh, in a little plastic uh, bottle of sorts. That worked out great, but this was the original idea was this, and this is what I really wanted to build was this uh, very simple toothpick motor, and uh, let me stop this one here. Um, it just sits in the cradle of these toothpicks here, and uh, this was my toothpick motor. This is the uh, 8th of October, 2021. I'm lid motor. And that's the conclusion of my toothpick motor. Thanks for watching.